CBSC NCRT Solutions Chapter 8 Exercise 8.1 Question Number 1 It is given that in triangle ABC which is right angled at B AB is equal to 24 centimeter so this is equal to 24 centimeter and BC is equal to 7 centimeter and it's given 7 centimeter to us and we need to determine that what is the value of sine A cos A sine C and cos C. Now let's find the length of side AC. We can use Pythagoras theorem here and we can say that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Now putting the values of AB and BC we get 24 square plus 7 square and it comes up equal to if you evaluate this it comes up equal to 625. So now scaling on both sides we get value of AC equal to 25 centimeter so we can write here value of AC 25 centimeter now we need to find values of sine A cos A now let's go through the first part now if you remember all the values of all the formulas of sine A and cos A and tan A then it, it is a very simple question for you now in order to memorize that there is a a way there is an there is a sentence I would like to tell you Sentence is Old Harry and his this is his H I S his old aunt. So you need to focus on the first letters of every word. So the first letters are O H A H O and A. Now O stands for opposite side and this is hypotenuse and this is adjacent side. A stands for adjacent side. This is again hypotenuse here opposite side adjacent side. So these can all be the parts of right angled triangle that we all know that one is the opposite side of any given angle and H is hypotenuse and uh, O is the opposite side and A is the adjacent side. Now we can split these ones by taking one pair at a time. So O divided by H this is sine. This is opposite side divided by hypotenuse and A divided by H is cos and O divided by A is tangent so these are the formulae so it is now easy for you guys to memorize this and we all know that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine and cos is the reciprocal of secant and tangent is the reciprocal of cot cotangent so if you memorize these ones these will be just the reciprocals now proceed to our question we need to find the value of sine of a so what is the formula for sine sine is opposite side divided by hypotenuse now what is the opposite side of angle a because we need to find sine of a we need to find the opposite side to angle a so opposite side of two angle a is bc so it becomes bc divided by ac because hypotenuse is ac so we get here value of bc is 7 and ac is equal to 25 so value of sine is 7 divided by 25 now we can find value of cos of a and formula for uh, cos is adjacent side divided by hypotenuse now adjacent side is equal to adjacent side to angle A adjacent side to angle A is AB divided by hypotenuse and AB is equal to hypotenuse is AC actually and uh, AB is 24 and AC is 25 so value of cos A is equal to 24 divided by 25 similarly we can move to the second part we need to find values of sine C and cos C 
so sine c is equal to value for the formula for sine is opposite side divided by hypotenuse and uh, opposite side to angle c is opposite side to angle c is ab and hypotenuse is ac so and the length of ab is 24 we all know and ac is equal to 25 so sine c is equal to 24 divided by 25 and now the last part is cos c formula for cos is adjacent side divided by hypotenuse and adjacent side to angle c is bc so bc divided by ac and length of bc is given to us and it's equal to 7 divided by ac is 25 so value of cos c is equal to 7 divided by 25 so that's it about this about uh, chapter 8 exercise 8.1 question 1 trigonometric ratios in the next video i'll be covering chapter 8 exercise 8.1 question number 2 see you guys